just a quick look. This is what stuff looks like when I'm testing my space shooter. Um, up here in the top, we got this scene, and you can tell that I, what I've done is I've made the main camera a child of the player, and the main camera I attached a script to, which was the Steam VR script, and it actually did all the camera trickery for me here. It it creates it splits out from a main camera. It was the camera in the scene, and I clicked the add component. I added the Steam VR to it, and it did this for me, which is awesome. Now, of course, I had to change all of the settings in the game to make it actually work in VR. And I've got it where it sort of looks right on the screen here. I added the Milky Way skybox, by the way. Thank you to Adam Blakey. I'm giving him credit in the uh, Bitbucket repository. Uh, everything else came from the asset store, except for all of the code and changes to the Unity project. I, I used the tutorial sample, but basically I had to rework almost everything. I am retired. I reached the level of software engineer advanced, or advanced software engineer. You see it term both ways. Uh, same thing. That's the top of the career around here, unless you want management, which I didn't, and that's what I always tell everybody, so now I told you to. So, uh, Alright, so anyway, get down to the fun stuff, what happens when you click play here. I can't really play very good with this, but you can tell that my tipping here is going. I need to set the spawn point of the asteroid back. They're spawning too close, but actually when you get, you know, five and up, 500 of them on the screen, which is what you'll get, uh, then, wow, game over, see, that's it, and then I can start again if I want to, uh, I, I think, okay, yeah, I did, oh, it, that's right, it makes you wait a bit, and then it starts. So, yeah, the asteroids are appearing kind of out of nowhere, and they're too close when they appear, I think. But I, I had them spawning farther back, and then they looked like they were, uh... It, it took them forever to get to you. So... Maybe take out that delay at the start. And, oh, by the way, I'm using a pretty beefed up system here. You may have to tone down the graphics to get this, uh, if you want this to actually work on your system. Uh, I'll, I'll do another video of what the VR looks like, what it looks like when I'm playing in VR, because it's totally different. At least it feels totally different. Alright, thank you for watching.